was an incredible election cycle, and I got to see it through the eyes of a show we produced called The Circus for Showtime, which was a weekly documentary series on the election. We produced 26 episodes of The Circus, and when we first started to do the show, and they talked about 26 episodes, which is a lot, most television shows are like 12 or 13 episodes, so it's twice as long as most television shows. And my concern at the beginning of the election was, my God, 26 episodes, there's gonna be, there's gonna be lots of weeks where not much is happening. That never happened. In fact, in every week, our only, the only problem we really had was cutting the show down to a half an hour, because every week we had enough for at least an hour or two hours. And what a circus it turned out to be. It's the most surprising, unconventional election in American history, which in a lot of ways creates a lot of opportunities for no labels. We saw across America what people are demanding is solutions. They want problem solving. And at this point, they don't care if it's a Democratic solution or Republican solution. And that's why Donald Trump got a lot of support. Everywhere that we went, uh, we saw, whether it was a Hillary rally or a Trump rally, when we talked to voters, the message was really fundamentally the same, which is that they're tired of the gridlock in Washington. So whether or not they were supporting Hillary Clinton or Donald Trump, the long-range goal for both parties is that we need to end the gridlock and get something done, and that's exactly what the No Labels mission is all about.